When I pull up on a hater, watch a hater fall back. I'm too good with these hands, watch a hater fall back. What up, t -Lo? For the parlay, Kendall Gill, 15-year NBA veteran. Yes. 4-0 as a professional boxer. Guess who else is 4-0? Jake Paul. Mm. Ooh. It's interesting. I got some thoughts on Jake Paul in a later episode. Yeah, me too. So we, we, we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> all right. Welcome to Parlay, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Links are all in the description box. Check it out. Follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, everything. Yeah, everything, what everywhere. I have? WhatsApp, Snapchat. We don't, we don't have any of those. Sorry. We're kidding. Links are right there in the description box. Welcome into the Parlay. It's been a while since we shot an episode. It's time to shoot one. And the mm -hmm. first thing we're going to talk about today is just announce... Sean Porter, Terrence Crawford, done deal, yep. signed, both from different stables, uh, uh, stables, but they're both now going to, going to fight. And right. this was ordered back in late July. Um, the WBO ordered the uh, the fight to happen late uh, late July, but didn't go through till obviously signed here in September. Right. So now two welterweights are going to do battle, two top welterweights. And in my opinion, Terrence Crawford's first true test at welterweights. I, I totally agree with you, uh, Sean Porter, who is a friend of of mine. Is he a of, dear friend like Stephen he, A? No, <laughs> he's a he's a friend. He's a friend of mine. He's my man from no. from Cleveland, okay. but he's a friend of our our program. <clears throat> we are going to be behind Sean because that's our guy. That's right. But he is fighting one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world. But. Terrence Crawford, as you said, this is the first time that I think he will truly be tested at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. Yep. I think that Sean Porter has been a champion in this division. Um, he has fought everyone in this division. Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, Ugas, who just beat Manny Pacquiao, comes with a lot of experience. And he has the style where he is going to stay on Terrence Crawford yep. the whole fight. Yep. And, uh, you know, I don't think that Terrence Crawford has fought anybody like uh, Sean Porter. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I think I think about this fight, first of all, in, in regards to Terrence Crawford. And I, I did a whole episode on how Terrence is overrated. And unfortunately, I still feel that way. Um, it's no disrespect to the boxer or anybody who steps in the rings to, re, to be respected. Mm -hmm. um, I've only trained, so I, you know, I know when people come at me, I totally get it. But we're, when we're, we're holding these guys in in rank status and talking about who's the best of the best from the eye test, Terrence has not fought the level of competition that Sean Porter has fought. No, he hasn't. I mean, he hasn't. He brought he. he I, I can't. I'm, I'm gonna get the names right now. List uh, list, but that's that's what I'm thinking of, and that's what many people think about too. And I mean, I see it in the comments and Instagram and, and social media, like. They're not. They're. They think that he's overrated as well. So I'm not the only one that thinks this. But you know, again, there's there's an issue too. Obviously, with Terrence being with top rank, fighting less op lesser opponents in True. the welterweight division, um, that's always an issue. And of course, it's not always the fighter's fault. But again, from the eye test, it's what it says. Now he's gonna fight somebody. A a bona fide true uh a legit legit guy. welterweight yeah. with the skill and the, I mean he a this champion. is it. He's fighting a champion. Exactly. And, you know, the thing is, let's, let's look. Who is the toughest fighter that Terrence Crawford has fought in the welterweight division? Kell Brook, Amir Kell Khan. Brook, Kell, oh, but a Kell Brook that was... Kell Brook that was shot worn. Shot, man. Yeah, he wasn't both, the same. Both, both of his eye orbits have been broken. I got him right here. Look, we, we got... We got... He said uh, Kell Brook. Um, Amir Khan. Amir Khan. Again, another... Washed uh, up guy. Uh, Jose Benavides Jr. with one leg. With one leg. Uh, Jeff Horn, who did not beat Pacquiao in Australia, by the way, I yeah. thought that Pacquiao won that fight. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Uh, Dago, in the, in uh, in Dago, I always say his name wrong. Uh, Julius. Yeah, in yeah. Dago, that was that was a KO. Mm -hmm. At that time, he was undefeated. Uh, Felix Diaz. Right. Uh, John Molina Jr. Right, uh, but you know, look. I, not, I mean, <laughs> not one of those names is Sean Porter, Danny Garcia. Keith Thurman, Errol Spence. The last relevant name on here that was not in the welterweight division was Gamboa, and Gamboa was still not the same person no, when Gamboa he fought wasn't Crawford. The same either. Yeah. So, so this is this this is why this is a test for Terrence yeah. Crawford because yes, he's and like Tilo said before, give everybody respect that steps in the ring. Absolutely. Those guys are good fighters. 
that Terrence Crawford beat, but they're not the elite fighters. This time he is fighting an elite fighter in Sean Porter, a guy who lost two close decisions to Danny to to uh, uh, Thurman, um, Earl Spence. Um, so you know, th- oh, he also lost to, to to Kell Brook back in the day, which that decision could have gone right either way as well. So you know, depend on you know which way the coin flips. Sean Porter could easily be be undefeated as well. Yeah, you know, but. It's an interesting fight because you know now we get to see really what Terrence Crawford is made of. Yeah, and uh, and we, we we switched this uh, the topic over to Sean Porter, a guy who's fought you said before the show everybody everybody um, in yep. the in the division even before he got to welterweight. Um, and props to him. I mean, he was one two good rounds away from edging out Errol Spence. He was. Um, he was toe to toe with him. Yeah, he was. Him being the shorter fighter, having to take chances more than Errol. Mm-hmm. Um, did a great job. Just got caught coming right. in. Yeah, got the, caught coming in. The, what was it? The eleventh round, I believe he yep, got knocked down. Eleventh round. Yeah. And also, this is he fought Andre Berto. Berto, yeah. And Andre Berto was Andre Berto. I mean, he's not he's not the same guy anymore. But yeah. Andre Berto is is a great fighter. Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, you know, Errol Spence, Ugas. Um, and everybody in between that. Yep. You know? So, Sean Porter, Sean Porter is, is that dude. And, and we have all been waiting for uh, Terrence Bud Crawford to fight that dude. That's going to happen soon. Absolutely. And we now look at the fight itself. Mm-hmm. There are about to be some fireworks. This yeah. is going to be a this is going to be a tactical battle in the beginning, and I see them opening up after round four or five. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see Sean Porter... You know, taking chances again. I see Terrence being a good counter puncher as well because yeah. he does have counter punching ability. Yeah. Um, but I got Porter by decision, man. I got Porter by decision. I think that uh, he outboxes the Terrence in the, in the later rounds. I'm I'm going to take Sean Porter by decision, also because I think simply Sean is just going to overwhelm Terrence. Activity. His activity level. Yeah. He's he's strong, a former football player. Used to fight at 154 pounds, so he's a, he's a he's a big welterweight. Even though he's smaller, uh, his body is that of a junior middleweight. So you know, and he's my boy. So so what? He's your boy? What? He's my boy. What? So I gotta go with him. I gotta go with him. Sean, we want a shout out, Good man. Luck, Sean. On the, come on, on the podcast. <laughs> Give us a shout out, man. We got you. Hundred yeah, percent. That's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, with with Porter, uh, I, I do think you know, and also I can't get, I can't deny either. Terrence Crawford does have knockout power. He does. Um, and if he if he get if he's on and he's aggressive, um, he was even doing it with Kell Brook. Uh, you know, he he knocked him down off a counter punch. So off of a jab. Uh, yeah, yeah, off of a jab. There off you go. Of a jab. Yeah. So I mean that 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 can happen. It can happen. But can, because Sean does come in, so he could be waiting to counter him. And the only other thing that I have that Sean has to worry about, he's got to worry about a lot of things. But when Terrence Crawford switches up and goes southpaw, which he does almost each and every fight, that's the one advantage that I see him having on Sean Porter. Uh, but then again, Sean Porter went 12 rounds with Errol Spencer, a, a South a Southpaw that stays Southpaw. So, you know, this is gonna be a great it's a, fight. It's man. a recipe for a good fight, and I can't yeah. wait to see it. So, yeah. true test for Terrence, awesome opportunity for Sean, another one, and we as boxing fans are going to be blessed to watch this. It's on pay per view. I am gonna buy it because it's worth it. I wanna buy it too. Yeah, I'm not gonna stream it illegally. I don't do that. No, I don't stream. I don't steal money from the fighters. We don't do that. From they work too hard, man. We don't do that. That's right. What do you guys think? Terrence, Sean, who's going to win this welterweight battle? We want to know. Yep. It's the parlay. What's up, guys? Tilo from the parlay. Kendall Gill. If you like what you saw, follow, subscribe. Visit us on our website. All that stuff. Do it. You know what I'm about to do right now, though? What's that? I'm about to go beat your record in 2K. 11 steals. 11 steals. Just as long as you do it on 2K. 11 steals. Easy. As long as you do it on 2K. Just don't do it on the court for real. When I pull up on a hater, watch a hater fall back. I'm too good with these hands, watch a hater fall flat. If I die, all I know, I'm a f***ing legend. It's so great for my city. I'm the realest one that's repping.